You've experienced Well, no, do you know, Gloria, funny enough, and, and it's something that you've talked about really registered with me, because you talk about finding little white feathers. Yes. Does anyone else believe in this? Yes. yes. Like and a sing, single, a white, single feather, white feather. A single white feather. And that in itself sort of signals that there's someone just looking after you, that they're there. Yeah. And I find little white feathers all over the place. And I, I, and honestly, I do. I think it's various people who I, who I care about that, that aren't here anymore. But when, um, just before we moved to New York, and we were completely, I was going to say something naughty there. We were panicking about going. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine what I was really going to say. And anyway, we just, you know, it's a big scary thing. I'd never really yeah. left home and all the rest of it. And we'd gone over to New York to try and sort of have a feel for the place. And we're walking down Fifth Avenue. The place is manic. And I said to Frank, do you think this is a good idea? Can we do this? And as I was talking like this, a white feather landed in my hand. Oh my like, and he, and he doesn't believe in anything. No, yeah. And we're in the middle of New York, for goodness sake. And this beautiful white feather, which I still have, landed in my hand. And I looked at him and I oh, said, no I think way. that's a sign. And he was like, yeah, yeah. But then we came back to London, watched one of the, the New York football games, which was where we, why he was going to move over. And on the screen, this white feather comes across the TV oh. screen during the game. We've got it, we recorded it. It was like on, on one of the sports no. channels. And, I, I, and this white feather, and I said, right, that's it, we're going. Oh, no. <laughs>